especially boxing. This is Unknown to Casuals. This is episode six that we have done. We do these every month and a half or so. And on these episodes, we talk about three fighters at a time that you may or may not have heard of. If you are more of a casual boxing fan, I'm guessing that you have not heard of these fighters. So the disclaimer for this show is that we do not talk about the Irish Katie Taylors of the world that everybody should know, and we hope you already know, was possibly the most accomplished Irish boxer of all time, man or woman. Uh, but we will be having a good three for you that we picked, and we had to sort through some for this one. Uh, from the top, First and foremost, Michael Conlon, the Mick. Michael Conlon, who had the uh, absolute outburst at the Olympics from getting just robbed at the Olympics, flipped everybody off. If you didn't notice, that's the picture that we used here in the thumbnail. Uh, Michael Conlon was an absolute uh, great, great amateur fighter. 82 and 20 record went to the olympics yada yada uh started off strong in his career of course starting off against some cab drivers as some boxers do um but moving up and 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 doing it the right way as a highly touted prospect he was 16 and 0 when he ran into lay wood uh who unfortunately beat him in the final round of that fight uh, in the last kind of waning moments when Michael Conlon was handedly winning that fight as well. A fantastic fighter, likes to uh, step in and poke the jab to the body a lot. Lots of head movement to be had on Michael the Mick Conlon. A uh, very slick fighter. He came back from that loss even after, uh, you know, the loss to... Uh, Lay Wood, who was 25 and two at this point, and he came back and he beat Miguel Mariaga, 30 and five, who was almost all knockouts. That guy, that was a good win. That's another guy that could be on the Unknown to Casuals episodes. Beat Kareem Jaffrey, uh, 31 and six. Michael the Mick Conlon is a must-watch fighter that you just can't miss, and you're gonna love the crap that he presents in his fights. Uh, has a very high boxing IQ. Love that guy. Uh, next on the list, Jason Quigley, 19 and two. Uh, he had wins over the likes of Freddie Henderson at 34 and nine. He he stepped up in his career to get a shot with uh, 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 as a huge underdog against Sugar Shane or against sorry <laughs> uh, Shane Mosley Jr. But not Sugar Shane Mosley the original senior. Um, but Shane Mosley Jr. He came in Jason Quigley as a large underdog for that fight, and he won. He beat Shane Mosley Jr., which set him up with a fight for uh, Demetrius Andrade, which unfortunately did not go so well. Jason Quigley, another guy who was a fantastic amateur, a hundred and nineteen record as an amateur, um, and his next opponent. Again, from coming off of a devastating loss to Demetrius Andrade, no step down, no real build. The build back is real for Jason Quigley uh, as he'll be taking on a 30-6 and six Kim Polson. So that's going to be a hell of a fight. Let's go Quigley. And third and final, but but certainly not, not last really on this list, is the up-and-comer, the guy to watch, Gary Cully who is 16-0, he is a southpaw, he is a phenomenal fighter, good amateur career, not as strong as the other two guys, but 50-16 and 16 nonetheless, uh, fought and lost a close split decision to David Oliver Joyce, who was 102-38, and 38. that should show you this guy's record in the amateurs, and although he didn't have as many fights as some of those other guys, um, you know, you can look down that amateur record and see his opponents have records something like 61 and 12, 66 and 11, 48 and 16. So he has fought in very good, uh, very good competition in his day. Gary Cully, like we said, southpaw. But here's the thing they say he's got power, he's putting guys away left and right, he's putting guys away at the opening of the fight. And 
So the power thing is not only just a, a little bit of an understatement alone to throw it in there with other guys that got power. Uh, I really want to see what Gary Culley's power is all about because Gary Culley seems to just be touching guys and finishing them. Uh, he is not putting actually anything behind these shots uh, like his full weight behind these shots. He's not getting all the torque he can behind these shots. He isn't, uh, you know, he just lands clean counters because he, he, he's very, very, very fast. Um, and if you're an MMA guy, kind of kind of reminds you of like a Conor McGregor, the way that you, you say power, but you don't see these guys load up. It's just that fast twitch muscle fiber uh, that he's got going on that just needs to touch somebody and boom, they're dead, lights out. Uh, and, and, and it's the timing of it all. Gary Culley looks to be the real deal that can have a very, very good, uh, hopefully, uh, pro career here ahead of him. And still 16-0 and and undefeated. Uh, you you got to think that the, the sky's the limit for a guy like this. Also, pretty fantastic tattoos. But we kept this one short and sweet. We gave you three fighters. We could have given you more. Um, but we, we do three at a time for these episodes. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you go and check these fighters out. I believe you can find all of them on DAZN. Um, uh, Gary Cully, definitely. And, uh, y y you know, and Jason Quigley as well is a DAZN fighter. And Michael Conlon might be at this point. He was, I believe, on ESPN. Uh, but they did a zone fight for that late wood fight where he came over. Um, and, and yeah, he might still be on ESPN. But go and check these fighters out. They are amazing. And we hope you appreciate them on this channel.